We're on the cusp of a colossal occasion, a semi-final encounter here at the Euros, and the nerves must surely be jangling. Who will come out on top? Will it happen live on EA TV? It's Belgium against France at the semi-final stage of the Euros and this should be a technical football lover's delight. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. Stuart, looking at the strengths and weaknesses of the two teams, let's emphasise the strengths. Absolutely, France plays some great football, they've got some world-class players, so too are Belgium. When I look at the two teams getting into this stage of the tournament, I still think France are the better side, and I expect them to win today. Not by a lot, though. Starting players for Belgium. Vastly experienced Belgian Kuhn Castells will be in goal. Juri Tiedemans plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the center of the pitch. And leading the attack today is Romano Lukaku. Considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today for his team. Dembele couldn't keep the ball. And over the touchline. For Belgium here. Chance to cross. Well shown inside. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. He fancies it. Nicely saved. Mbappe. And a struggle for France to keep the ball. Belgium throwing. Oh, the 
threat is there. Lukaku, high quality defending. De Bruyne. That is that for the first half here. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Maybe a good position from which to counter. Can they use their pace? Possibilities at the centre. They could not get cross. Can they cover up? Yeah, just please your doubt. Mbappe. Belgium with the ball again. Lukaku. And a precise challenge just when it was required. Aurelien Chouameni. Top class defending. Counter looks on here, options available. Well, they need to get bodies back. Well, it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. was a good finish but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better he's got to have that near post cover for me are back underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next We're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Dembele. Very timely interception. 
chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Matongan. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. They know what they need. And that's an equaliser here. why the balls ended up in the back of their net. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. A really good pass. Well, here they are, on the attack. Can they go on and win the game? Lukaku. Front block, but still alive. We're adding up all the stoppages. We will have two extra minutes. A tremendous vision. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time and I must say this has been a back-and-forth type of game. And the goal kick is the anchor. But now is the time to go to the bench. Kunde. split the two sides but this move looks promising and France have it back now Kunde here's Mbappe and the referee has awarded the free kick he tried to play advantage but it wasn't forthcoming been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Thank you. 
product. Carrasco. He's an accurate cross. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. He wasn't going to let that go. Good ball. Not the most confident clearance. Kunde. Oh, could be. Well, didn't really make the keeper think too much about that at the end. And what a waste that is. Such a good chance as well. And take it short. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Timothy Castagna. A move of promise. Is it going to end with them scoring the winning goal? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Options in the middle. He takes it in field. Yannick Carrasco. And five against the crossbar. Closer. Might be a chance here. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks.
And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And he scores! Can he convert? He scored in the bottom corner. Political as always in front of goal. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. I think we might just have witnessed the unstoppable penalty. He had to score, and he does. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And he finds the net he could hardly miss. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. A goal here to finish it. Penalty with so much at stake, and I think the better team have gone through here.